Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised.
Good morning, all my lovelies. How are you doing this morning? Hey, Crystal, good to see you. <laughs> Elaine and Crazy Chicken Lady. Bye, bye. <laughs> Let me know if y'all can hear me okay, because I'm really loud in my earphones, but then when I hear myself play back in my car when I'm like, you know, out doing errands like I was this morning. I can't hear me at all, so I'm thinking maybe I need a new mic or something. I don't know. Let me know if y'all can't hear me, and I'll uh, I'll put the the mic inside my mouth if I have to. <laughs> no, I won't. Hey, Sally, good to see you. Hey, Kim, my beautiful Kim. You are such a beautiful woman. I hope you know that, Kim. Uh, Cushy makes us all these gorgeous graphics, and... Uh, she made me pretty again. <laughs> I love you so much. She, oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. She made me pretty again. <laughs> uh, good to see y'all. Hey, Grace. Hostel. Good to see you. Don't hassle the hostel, right? Don't, ha don't hassle the hostel. <laughs> good to see you. Good to see you. Ah, there's Chihuahua Mama. Good to see you. All right. Let's do network. Okay, I hope I got all my good mornings in there. I'll tell you what's going on with me that this morning. It's like a bad case of who's on first. Um, yeah, I fell asleep. If anyone can message me the live. Uh, are you talking about Kells Bells live? Uh, yeah, we can do that. If someone wants to drop Kells Bells link, that's fine. And Chaotic Beauties and D-Bosses. Can't think of anybody else that was up. I think that was it. We're all already all subbed and on the key already. But, uh, hey, Silent Troll. Good to see you. Hello. Hello. <laughs> uh, Batgirl had made a, a clip of me. Uh, using my face with uh, a British comedic actress that's overweight and has these uh, bat wing eyeglasses like I, I wear, uh, or cat glasses like I wear, and uh, it's actually funny. It didn't make me mad. It was actually funny, but she's an actress, uh, and if you can imagine Miss uh, Mrs. Doubtfire, she does this, hello! Uh, and somebody said the other day, oh, you sound like Roger Brown. I was like, no, I'm not doing Roger Brown. I'm actually doing that girl that she was making fun of me with. <laughs> it was a good idea. So, <laughs> yeah, don't, don't hassle the hustle. <laughs> okay. So this morning, I, um, I'd gotten a couple of text messages about my dad's uh, wife and, uh, uh, I was trying to convey all of that to my sister, who is estranged from everyone, and with the kittens, and with the house running, and with having to run to a doctor's appointment this morning, and then to the grocery store, I uh, am sort of like juggling, if you can imagine, like I'm Circus de Soleil this morning, and uh have you ever had one of those mornings where you're having multiple conversations with four or five people and you get those messages sent to the wrong person? That was me this morning. And so it was just like, could y'all just all call each other? I'm going to step out of the equation and just pray about it. Y'all all talk to each other. Y'all got each other's phone numbers. Let me back out of this and I'm going to go live and hide. <laughs> Chaotic was right about that. <laughs> I will kick sand and then take off running. She's right about that. <laughs> and everything else, I think she and I are just um, having a difference of opinions on how things went down, and that's okay. She's entitled to her opinion, and um, no, I don't think she's satanic, but... 
Anyway, uh, so I open up my phone book as all this is unraveling this morning. And we have a huge uh, mall here, shopping mall. It's called Haynes Mall, uh, named after Haynes Hosiery, which was um, established here in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. So it's a very nice shopping mall. And they always have the Santa Clauses and the Easter bunnies, right? Well, it reminded me of a story when I saw their advertisement this morning on Facebook of a conversation that I had with my daughter when she was about probably, she was about six. Yeah, she was probably in kindergarten. And uh, she uh, had done something or wouldn't do something or something like that. And I said, well, I'll just call the Easter Bunny and tell him. And she goes, you don't know the Easter Bunny's real name. I said, <laughs> oh, yes, I do. And she goes, oh, really? What's the Easter Bunny's real name? How would you look him up in the phone book if you had to, Mom? I said, <laughs> his name is Peter Cottontail. Her face. <laughs> she was like, <gasps> her eyes got big. Her mouth got wide. She started crying. I said, what? She goes, you know the Easter Bunny's real name. I said, yes. It's Peter Cottontail. Please don't call him. Please don't call him. I said, I'm not going to call him. Please don't. She was like putting her hands over the pages of the phone book that I had open. Please don't look anymore, Mama. <laughs> don't, don't call him. And I was like, okay, I won't. I won't call him, but it was so funny how she didn't think I knew the Easter Bunny's real name. <laughs> oh, gosh. You want me to remove that? Okay. Delete comment. All right, there you go. So anyway... <laughs> That had me so tickled this morning thinking about that and uh anyway <laughs> the things we got to got to do to get our kids to behave look i'm gonna call chris kringle it's getting serious now <laughs> i'm not even we're not even using street names anymore all right it's christopher kringle <laughs> Anyway, so y'all tell me how y'all are doing this morning, and uh, I'll get myself settled in. <laughs> Can y'all hear me okay, though? Okay. Uh, I would... Folks, probably no imagination here. <laughs> She was like, holy shit, that's his name. My mom knows it. Son of a bitch, I'm screwed. <laughs> no chocolate Easter bunnies for my ass. Son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, my gosh, it's funny. Oh, my Lord. Um... Okay, okay, so uh, let me think. Uh, let me get my thoughts here together. Um, okay, so there was a definition that I wanted to read to you guys just because it came up in chat. Um, and let's just put it this way. A one Ebenezer Scrooge was in chat. <laughs> Some, you know, that's why I'm not on camera. I'm like, <laughs> Some things I can't do with a straight face, you guys. <laughs> Some things I just can't do with a straight face. Whew, I'll start over. <clears throat> Get mad. <laughs> Sound mean. 
<laughs> there was a one Ebenezer Scrooge in the chat. So here are my words of wisdom. Hold on a minute. Uh, oh, if you would go to my community wall, y'all can read along with me. Um, where did I put it? Where did I put it? Here it is. Okay. Um, I got a lot here to share with you guys through the night. Okay. This is to Ebenezer Scrooge, who shall rename nameless at this time, at this juncture. Uh, at this point of my strategery, uh, what is an example of a classist person? Oh dear. Examples of classism include believing that someone lacks intelligence because they do not work at a high paying job. Similarly, assuming that someone is unimportant or worthy of ridicule because they were cheap clothes. <laughs> And would be a classist attitude. Assuming that someone is unimportant or worthy of ridicule because they wear cheap clothes would be a classist attitude. I'll continue. I shared uh, a um, little channel that I follow spoogly on the many creeps behind the scenes at Nickelodeon. That's sort of a hot topic, and if y'all are interested in me covering it, I will. But uh, there's a guy that's already covered it. And then uh, there is the lineup for those that follow me in North Carolina. The Bloomingthal Arts released their 2024-25 lineup to their uh, perform Broadway performances. Um, if you're interested in the arts, like I am. And then there's a, um, uh, a little video that I want to show you people that I thought might be interesting to you guys that aren't from my part of the, um, my neck of the woods, my neck of the woods, my neck of the woods. Uh, so I'm going to show you my channel. Okay, this is my community wall. Let me go down here. Oh, yeah, this is what I want to show y'all. I think y'all will find this interesting. Uh, let me get through this commercial because I'm a cheapskate and I don't pay for premium. Sorry. Maybe when I'm making the big books. Maybe when I grow up someday, I'll be able to pay for premium. Okay, here we go. Now I'm going to share the screen real quick to you. I'm just letting you know every step I'm making so I'm not leaving you to dead air here. Here you go. Mm -hmm. Is it Sharon? Let's see, share screen. Is it doing it? Nope, it's on mute. Unmute. Unmute. Back up. Am I still here? Hang on, I'm trying to get it to damn share my screen. What did I do? Did I click on the wrong thing? I think I did. Are y'all there? Is it in? It's something not seen or heard heard from in two centuries. Yeah, billions of cicadas. I'm not sure a lot of people are really excited about it, but uh, because of the sound, but they're going to dig their way up from the ground this spring. Queen City News reporter Savannah Rudisell spoke to the experts about what all the buzz is about. Two different broods or subspecies of cicadas will be popping up this season. A type that only emerges every 13 years and another type that emerges every 17 years will both be in the trees soon. That hasn't happened since Thomas Jefferson was president. They're pretty, for one thing. They're kind of Halloween colored. They're completely harmless, and they're doing these amazing behaviors. Clyde Sorensen is an NC State professor of entomology. Simply put, he's a big fan of bugs. 
He predicts within the next five or six weeks, hordes of periodic cicadas will come up from the ground to mate and lay eggs. The buzzing they're known for is the males singing for a partner. That little whitish spot right there, that's his temple. And that's what it uses to make its song. According to the Environmental Protection Agency, there are a few benefits to the noisy tree dwellers. They say when they come up from the ground, they can aerate the soil a little bit and help with water filtration. While they're alive, birds and other animals prey on them. And when they die in just about three to four weeks, they say their bodies can actually leave quite a bit of nutrients for the soil. Like all other creatures, they have a role to play, um, but their role is different and, and in some ways more dramatic than that of many other species. There are more than 3,000 cicada species across the world, but nowhere else do they synchronize their emergence like they do in eastern North America. Now, they're only going to be here for a short while, but while they're here, it's all inspired. I, I encourage everybody to go out and, you know, make this something that they do. Go find some of the periodic cicadas when they're up. Scientists predict we won't see an emergence like this until the year 2245. Reporting in Charlotte, uh -huh. Savannah Rudisell, Queen City News. Oh, yeah. So do y'all get those little bugs? <laughs> they're not little at all. But <laughs> your, your chickens, will they eat them? Your chickens to eat them? Thank you, crazy chicken lady. Appreciate that. You watched it earlier. Okay, I'm glad it's coming to Ohio too. Yeah, you're not far from me. That's what worms are for. <laughs> they eat them. Is that what they do? Hey, Night Owl, good to see you. Yeah, that's kind of neat. They make a funny sound though. I can think it's kind of neat. It's it's just I don't know. It sounds like summer to me. Yeah, I thought that was kind of neat. You don't get them. Okay, it must be a South thing. Yeah. Uh, does anybody want to come up? Here's a picture I uh, plugged off of uh, my, um, I think it was some Facebook. Let me move this banner here so you can read it. A Sear George Glenn, I got his permission to share. Sometimes driving into Winston-Salem takes my breath away. This is what we see everywhere. It looks like snow, but they're flowers. So do you see that there, Kim? The uh, cherry blossoms. We didn't get snow. We got flowers and pollen. <laughs> Imagine camping with those. Oh, I know it. We have cicadas and they call them heat bugs because they come to Rhode Island and make noise in the hot, hot nights. Camping with those. I know it, right? They are loud, aren't they? You get grasshoppers. They make like a chirping, buzzing. Sound. Yes, yes, I do too. I think it's gorgeous. Wouldn't it be pretty to get married under that? I'm such a romantic. <laughs> you like bugs. You just like creatures, don't you, crazy chicken lady? I love your farm. You're very, very blessed. I loved your pictures this morning. It lifted my spirits. You have those big ass chimps. Yes, we do. Now, the kids at school would tie, uh, uh, what is it, dental floss to one of the legs and then twirl them over their head. I'm not sure why they would do that play a helicopter with their leg why did people do that to those poor little bugs but they thought you little asshole human put me down put me down <laughs> right i love june bugs too it means it's summertime right summer summer summertime yeah, it could be couldn't I get a big enough one <laughs> <It's a pet. laughs> all of you playing with the with the one leg and then when one it broke off you just tied to the other leg <laughs> Peter hated our asses <laughs> right oh man I found Ernie's boots under my bed <laughs> I knew he'd been here <laughs> just kidding 
Just kidding. This is it. Oh my goodness. This is what happens to you when you lie on YouTube. <laughs> and you and you get uh oh there's throat lozenges in your uh uh stickers there if you want to uh throw up cough drops, throat lozenge feel feel free. It's a new sticker there. You start physical therapy soon. I'm surprised one of those free memberships didn't hit you, um, Casey. I'm surprised. Um, yeah, there's the cough drops. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what happens when you lie here and smoke cigarettes too long. <laughs> Here's our kittens this morning. Can you see them? It looks like there's three uh, with definite Maine Coon. And then one looks like Hobbs, the one that's supposedly uh, fixed. And then one looks orange. So. She's doing so good with them, man. I love this cat. I love this cat. Um, definitely a gift from God. And I saw this posted on COVID today. I thought it was pretty cool. It says, you only live once, so make sure you spend 15 hours a day on the internet seeking validation from strangers. <laughs> Isn't that the truth? Hey, Frankie, good to see you. <laughs> I thought that that so I got to snag that. So I hope COVID doesn't mind me sharing that. It cracked me up. Isn't that the truth? What the heck are we doing? Hey Renee, good to see you. Frankie, Night Owl, all of you coming in. Thank you. Good to see all of you. <laughs> Yours is a, oh, that's how I feel about this cat. And it was a stray from the dumpster. Our, our dumpster is literally right at the end of our building here. And our cat brought it home one day. Like, here, you going to come live with us and eat our food. You ain't going to be in that nasty dumpster no more. So glad. So glad he did. I love, 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 love this cat. And the circle of life, right? It's the circle of life. So those of you coming in, I want to show you this little picture of our Main Street. This is South Main Street in Winston-Salem. Uh, I know a lot of you people on the the um, up north and to the west coast have a lot of snow right now. So I'm letting you see what spring in the south looks like right now. It looks like snow, but it's flowers. It's the cherry blossoms um, shedding. Yeah, good to see all of you. So good to see all of you. <laughs> so did anybody watch Kells Bells? If you didn't, we won't talk about it. I got plenty of other stuff we can talk about without it. No biggie. It's already, I've already been on here half an hour. I hadn't even started yet. Okay, so um, let me go over here while I'm... What was the other stuff I wanted to share? Hey, Brandy, good to see you. Hey. Thank you very much. Uh, hold on one second. Let me. What? What did you say? Let me come back over here. We'll close that out. Hold on. Uh. You tried to watch it? Yes, I, that, there it is. Yes, they kept timing me out. Raylan kept wanting to tell me about how she wanted to order some of my hot cinnamon crotch soap, which it wasn't hot. I don't know why she thinks that cinnamon is hot. Cinnamon isn't hot unless you make it hot. But uh, I wanted to let her know that it, it would help cure her uh, dripping gonorrhea. And uh, offered some uh, some uh, little uh, homeopathic 
path that you there, and it wasn't uh, wasn't appreciated. <laughs> she offended, and then I defended. I pulled out my bracelets like this. Chum chum. Says that she made fun of my soap, my crotch soap. So I don't know why she wants to put it on her crotch, but she did, apparently. Um. <laughs> Anyway, so when I tried to defend myself, I was timed out by Miss One Blame Katie. And uh, she got me with her uh, pink uh, professional suit jacket. She sure did. The um, hall monitor was there. The hall monitor didn't let me uh, defend myself against the, uh, the bullies when I was trying to get to the assembly hall. What she was saying wasn't any better. Debbie trying to stick up for you. Yes, I saw that. And thank you, Debbie, by the way, for the $50 cash out last night. I really appreciate that. Uh, yes, I was um, gifted a very nice uh, cash app uh, for all that uh, bullshittery. She started about the post Peach made about me, and it was bullshit. So, nah. Y'all didn't watch it. I think they lost a lot of viewers because of the mods. And you know, no one's going to participate and hang out if they can't. I mean, no one's going to hang out if they can't participate. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, screw that. I'll just go watch something else. So I guess about a half hour. I, I didn't get to see any of Mama T at all. Because that's like, if I can't be in chat, why am I here? You know what I'm saying? I don't care if you talk about me. You make me famous. Um, her shit stinks, duh. <laughs> I'm like, why would you put that on your crotch when you know it's got a dead flower in it? To each their own. <laughs> I was just trying to help a girl out with her STDs, that's all. Just trying to share... There's a lady named Cinnamon Hot Hot. <laughs> really? <laughs> it's probably chaotic. <laughs> this was over at Kel's last night. Sometimes, y'all, you got to loosen up and laugh, man. Because some of the trolls that come in here, when I come back and I watch the replay... <laughs> And I'm, you know, posting comments in my, you know, while I'm talking trance, not paying attention to what sometimes the trolls are saying to me. I laugh my fucking ass off. My husband's like, what did that just say? <laughs> I don't know. I was in the middle of talking. I wasn't paying attention. And we laugh our ass off. Hey, dark of night. <laughs> you didn't. Yeah. Yeah, if they're not going to let me down participate, it's like, forget it. Yes, it was extremely awesome, considering I was completely out of CBD. As you can tell from my mood today, it helped. <laughs> so, another cl hand clap for, because we know everyone loves my hand clapper. Yeah, so, yes. <laughs> yes. Just a little bit more hand clap. Just a little bit more. <laughs> oh, shit. Let's see. Um... <laughs> I was just trying to help her. Dead flower. <laughs> It was a different kind of douche for her, I suppose. I don't know. No one told her to put it in her groin. <laughs> I mean, we know who the freaks are here, right? <laughs> Nobody said it was coochie spray. <laughs> oh, my Lord. I know, exactly. That's how you get your pH beat. pH uh, balance all messed up. Chickadee. Now you got to go buy you some Pearl shampoo 
and wash it cuter with some pearl shampoo and get your pH balance all balanced. You weirdo. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, man. I, is that what you're supposed to do when you get your pH balance messed up? Is buy some pH balance shampoo? I always wondered that. Okay, if that's pH balanced, and that says that the pH balance is off, should they come together and meet? Just a question. <laughs> Just wondering. <laughs> oh my gosh. So anyway, anyway, anyway. Lots of gummies, lots of gummies. She's so she misunderstood when you called her a douche. <laughs> I, don't I don't remember how it went down. I really don't. Wonder Woman burning Gucci dance. <laughs> It's getting hot in here. Well, okay, let's just talk about this for a second. Do they not make some sort of um, um, cootie oil that does turn it up hot? Have y'all seen that on the market? They do make like a, a what's it called? Um, what is it called? Lubricant. And you can get it uh, uh, hot. Have y'all seen that? With or without the tingle? <laughs> Not that I would ever try that. <laughs> but hey, who am I to judge? Right? Maybe that's what they mean by she was, uh, I watched a new show on Apple TV called Manhunt. It's about the hunt for the man who killed Abraham Lincoln, John Wilkes Booth. Very interesting. So far, it's two episodes, but I think a new one comes on Wednesday called Manhunt. Let me write that down. Is that the one with Jodie Foster? I've been wanting to see the one with Jodie Foster. I've, I've always been a Jodie Foster fan. I'm a queen on the roll. <laughs> Mm, I need to go get a drink. My uh, husband has gone to a doctor's appointment, and I had to wait on myself today, and it was horrible. It was awful, it, and I was cold. I'm not laughing at the person, but laughing at Chip Chip <laughs> saying about hot coaching. Uh, don't call me Chip Shit, okay? Don't do that, or you can leave. Thanks, Brandy. Love you. Don't do that. Uh, no one's a hot coochie man. What? Are you kidding me? I thought that's what you're supposed Isn't that what they call hot pants? Or uh, what is it? Um, she was a... Uh, there was somebody I knew, and he used to call his ex-wife hot box. That's what he would call her. Oh, yeah. I loved my ex-wife. She was a little hot box. Is that good or bad? Is that good or bad? Okay, thanks, Casey. I appreciate it. Yeah, don't do that. Uh, I always thought that was a good thing. Isn't that a good thing? Isn't that like a thing that you want? That's what uh, I, uh, oh yeah, I know, I want to show y'all something. Shoot, I got, I got, see, my mind is all over the place today. I got too much going on. So I got confused earlier today. Um, this is something I wanted to share with you guys. Um. Just, you know, with all the things happening, uh, some some little things that help you get through in life, I want to share those as I go through my lives and hope that something I say um, helps you get through what you're going through, whatever it may be, um, work, home, whatever. Uh, these are things that have helped me uh, in my strive for self-preservation in this thing called life, right? Um, always leave before you get hurt. Please listen to what I'm saying. I am not hung up on one comment. Y'all are. Please listen to what I'm saying. Let's move along. And listen to what I'm saying, okay? Okay? You ready? 
um, words that will help you, you know, in self-preservation, okay? Are you listening? Class, pay attention. I'm just kidding. I'm going to make you read census. Where's my roller? Damn it. <laughs> Fuck it, let's go to art class. <laughs> I'm gonna go get the TV. <laughs> let's watch basketball instead. That's what we do in North Carolina this time of year. You know, when they bring in that TV and, and video recorder. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> We're gonna watch the tournament. Okay, okay, let me let me go back. Okay. Okay, here we go. Always leave before you get hurt stay in control of your emotions always keep a backup plan self-preservation is key in maneuvering life now this may sound like someone who suffers from CPTSD, and I do, and it may sound like, um, um, what is it, what is it they call it, a uh, fight or flight, I think that it will help someone, so remember, always leave before you get hurt, don't wait until you get hurt, because then manipulations will get, will kick in, uh, and they use your emotions against you, so always leave whatever the situation is. It can be a relationship. It can be a job. It can be a, a pet groomer. It can be anything, okay? Anything. It can be an internet chat. Leave before you get hurt. If you see it coming, you sense it coming, don't wait. Don't hang out, right? If you know you're not wanted, you're not appreciated, your efforts go unnoticed. Bounce. Beat your feet. Always leave before you get hurt. Stay in control of your emotions. Don't let your emotions control you or the decisions you make. Okay? Always keep a backup plan. People don't have to know what your backup plan is. Just put it in the back of your mind. But know that if shit were to hit the fan, I've, I'm protected. I've already gone through the motions in my mind. Worst case scenario. So if it happens, I'm protected. Because you've already gone through it in your head. And I really feel like that is how I got through my daughter's murder. Because about six months before she was shot, uh, I saw that she was spiraling uh, out of control in her addiction and it wasn't looking good. The people that she was surrounding herself with were dangerous. And so um, in one way or another, I, I knew that was going to be the outcome. It was either going to be an OD, she was going to get locked up, or she was going to get killed. I didn't think she was going to get killed. I really thought that she would um, do too much. I was what I was afraid of because I thought she had become arrogant in how much she could handle we all do in our addiction, don't we? We all think that we can handle more than we could, but that's not what happened. Uh, she was shot over five Percocet pills. So um, in my self-preservation with things that I had been through already in my life with loss and uh, trauma, I knew I needed to go ahead and mourn as if it had already happened so that when it did happen, I could be there for her son, which is kind of how it went down. I did lose my cookies a couple of times after it happened, but
but I, I rebound pretty quickly because it was always in the back of my head, this might happen. And um, I think that that probably kept me alive was going through the motions already. And that's exactly what my live the other night on the power of positive thinking, how to become a positive thinker. Um, when Tony Robbins was explaining, go ahead and, and go through the motions even if you act it out in the privacy of your own bedroom or home, uh, what that what is the worst case scenario? And go ahead and play that out in your mind, talk it out, and 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 then you're prepared. Self preservation is key. So hopefully um, that helps. Long live Wonder Woman. <laughs> Absolutely. <sighs> and know your worth. Don't hang out where you're not praised or celebrated. Um, and if they shame you every time you come in uh, um, the door uh, and they're not happy to see you, um, stop going. That's not your bar. You get me? I'm emotionless, so I'm good on all that. I'm, yep. Yep, always protect your heart and your emotions, right? Cymbalta helps you. I am on triliptal and a few other things. Uh, clonidine, um, I take Vistaril, and uh, I occasionally take Kratom for pain because I don't, I don't do well on opiates. I itch like a mofo. I, I guess I'm allergic to them. Uh, so I can't, and I get an incredible headache. So I just take Kratom whenever I'm in pain, like my arthritis, which hasn't been bad since the weather's been nice. Read the room, people. Read the room. <laughs> right. If they're not happy to see you and they're like, hello, Newman, you know, then you know that Jerry's not your friend. <laughs> So does anybody want to come on panel and uh, chat with me? Or um, I guess if nobody saw Kells Bells Live, then I won't need to talk about it. Um, let's see. What else is I going to go over? I guess if nobody saw it, there's no point in going over it. I can always go live later tonight. I guess. Bye, see you later. Okay, come on, Kim. Here you go. Here's your link. I do not deal with people who hide, who ride the high horse. Yeah, me either. They're no fun. I like down-to-earth people. I mean, I don't care what your house looks like. I don't, if, as long as you're a good person and you're not arrogant, humility to me is attractive. Hey, there's Kim Maple Syrup. Hello. 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 Me and my daughter does that all the time. We're like, hello. <laughs> Boy. Cause she makes us look so good. <laughs> like, I know. It's like, if only I could look like that. It would be I so nice. I so hard, man. I put me in tears. I was like, thank you so much. She's oh. awesome. She is. She's She's got talent just coming out of her pores. And she's just awesome. Mm -hmm. And and yesterday it was just like I wasn't I wasn't asking or saying anything. It just I kept getting notifications 
you know, she take me in something and I'm like, oh, wow, look at this. <laughs> oh, this is cool. <laughs> Check see, this out. <laughs> I think she's a, just a true artist. I love that. Mm-hmm. She is. Yeah. She has her days where she likes to post a lot. And, yeah. You know. See, she gonna... surprises me all the time. I love surprises, too. Do you like to be surprised? Some people don't like to be surprised. I love to like, be I surprised. I love it. I was freaking out the other day because someone had sent her a, or tried to send her a carved rose. Um, uh -huh. And she said, no, it was, and it was uh, metal, I think, was the reason she said she didn't want it because metals, of, uh, uh, she was, uh, 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 somehow or another, she does I know that some metals uh, I'm allergic to, but she said it got her frequency off or this, whatever. I don't know. But she doesn't like surprises. So that's why I was asking oh. you, do, do you like surprises? Oh, I love them. I love surprises. I now, my son, my son is horrible. You cannot tell him about anything. Cause he will hound you and hound you. What is it? What is it? Just tell me. I don't. I don't want to be surprised. Just tell me. I'm like, oh my god, I shouldn't have said a word. <laughs> That's funny. Um. Um. Now I had a sister. She's passed on now, but she couldn't. She couldn't hold it back. She would tell you before she even ordered. Oh, I can't wait. Can we? Are you excited? Well, you already told me. <laughs> <laughs> so there, she she bought good gifts though for everybody. She was the the big gift giver. Yeah. Hey, I night out. Okay, make sure. Who was Kels anyway? Well, she was a mean girl. You don't remember Kels Bill? She went off for a while. I haven't heard about her for a long time, and. I watched a little bit of um, Mama T's yesterday, and I heard her mentioning that she was going to be on her live with D Boss. But I, I don't, I never watched Kells Bell, so I didn't, you know, I didn't know what the now, uh, what time it was, or after I got done with the live, you know, your live last night. I pretty much got in bed and fell asleep. Yeah, um, Night Owl said uh, she likes to complain over and over about the same shit. She had Chaotic and D-Boss up on her panel and they were bashing Gypsy. Oh. Well, it's probably a good thing I wasn't there. Because mm. I'd be on them. Mm-hmm. I don't care when it comes to my friends. I don't care what chat it is. Yeah. So I just saw this pop up in my news feed just now. Uh, I don't know if you people remember Richard Simmons, but he yeah. just announced that he has cancer. Oh. Very sad. He was such a health freak. I saw a while back that, um, you remember Polly Shore? Yes. He was, like, really popular back in the 90s. Yeah. I heard he was going to do, like, a documentary, like, of Richard Simmons' life. And he was going to play or, him. Yeah, and something about Richard Simmons didn't really want him to do that. He and didn't that approve his, the script. Yeah. Right. right, and that and so you know, Holly Shore said he wasn't going to do it if he didn't approve it. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, because he I said mean, that that was one of his uh heroes. So I don't know if he did it or he finally approved it or what. I don't know if it ever aired. I didn't see it. Yeah, I didn't either. But from like the clips that they showed. I mean, Polly Shore looked pretty close to Richard Simmons. God, you know, didn't he? yeah, I like it was on. It never, it never even occurred to me when he was young. Like, I, that like... I know he's perfect for it. 
He really is. I love Richard Simmons. Watching him yeah, I cook guess, is how I learned I guess, how to peel a um, potato without cutting my hands. Oh. Yeah, he did it a particular way, and uh, it's much easier than peeling it the old-fashioned way. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No one any more on kills. Uh, well, that would be nice. I'm sorry, I'm I'm hitting a bolt, so I'm coughing a little bit. <coughs> oh okay. I wanna get this out though before the, the, the message goes away. I did message Sarah and Chaotic multiple times. Um I don't remember Sarah replying, and then um, Chaotic did reply, and all she didn't want to do was argue. So I was like, okay, have a nice day. Mm -hmm. She was extremely, you know, just wanting to fight, wanting to, Yeah. Know. Yeah, they had blocked me when I was defending myself. Thanks for taking up for me there, though, uh, you guys. I really appreciate that. I, I, I'm going to give you all a hand clap for... Ernie said the other day uh, that uh, your people will defend you. So, um, you know, that really uh, that really made me feel good when uh, I heard that people were defending me. I really appreciate that a whole lot. Um, but please don't ever feel like that you have to because you don't. Trust me. I'd rather you watch, you know, a lifetime television movie for women romance. <laughs> <laughs> than sit and argue over petty stuff over me. So um, don't yeah. ever feel like you've got to, because I love you more than that. Oh, it's just second nature for me. If if I see someone, you know, making fun of someone I love, it's like, no, 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 no. You're going to hear my two cents if you're going to do that. I mean, I never had anybody stand up for me um, until Cushy came around. And um, I was really like, wow, you know. She's I can't awesome. believe I can't believe she would do that for me. She sure does for you. That's awesome. That's awesome. I mean, uh, not everybody has that, Kim. So you're real blessed. You're yeah, beautiful. she's... You have a, a, a gorgeous home. You have a dear, close friend and a good relationship with the Lord. To me, you're very blessed. Oh, yeah. I, even like today when I'm, I'm in a lot of pain, I, I don't, you know, I I still thank God for everything I'm blessed with. And, and I'm very grateful for everything, you know. Mm -hmm. And I tried, I try to. I try to live with gratitude and yes. and not with um uh what 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 would I say like being a person who uh woe is me you know like you know everybody has their pity parties sometimes but um I try not to be that way Right. We should try to find the video. I want to learn how to till a potato the Richard Simmons way. Well, I'll tell you, um, wash it, of course. And the way that he did it was he would cut it instead of peel it. He would cut the tips off and then he would turn it and, you know, hold it with your hand and then just um, slice it rather than peeling it. And you're not throwing that much of potato away, and it saves your hands if you've got arthritis, which I do. So I don't think that I could actually peel it going around and around and around if I wanted to. So this is how I, I do it now. Mm -hmm. 
I listened to 10 minutes of it from the bushes and then I turned it off because it was so unfair. That's what I did. I went in at the end. Was it the end? Maybe it was the middle. They had uh, unblocked me and then I went back in and I answered a question of D-Boss and addressed Chaotic, excuse me, about the soap. And I mean, I've got videos out the ass and lives out the ass addressing all of this over and over and over and over. If you want to know about the soap, just go watch the, the soap making videos, which are shorts. They're real quick with music and fun. But anyway, mm -hmm. um, it was a hobby that we had taken on just from watching Dolly. It ain't nothing we'd ever done before in our life. So we started doing it and uh, sold a few bars. I think I'd sold some to New York to L.A. I sold some to Bob and Laurie. And Chaotic is the only one that complained. I made her a batch. She said she wanted it to be blood red. And she wanted it to be in the shape of a coffin. And she wanted it to have uh, dead flowers in it. you know. Um, and she got me the stuff. And I made it, but she didn't want it. I was like, I'm not sure what I did wrong. All I did was sent it cinnamon what the fuck else would us was i gonna send it they didn't right. have the um caramel i think she wanted so we got the next best thing and mm -hmm. um, i was thinking baking smell you know and it wasn't hot i don't know where they get it was hot you add heat to a flavor cinnamon is not hot in nature at all you add that heat to cinnamon so i don't know where raylan and her hot crotch problem which is gonorrhea if she's got a hot crotch it's gonorrhea it's not the soap girl <laughs> it's not the soap it's gonorrhea mm -hmm. that makes no sense to me so i would bandage it maybe 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 wear a pad <laughs> um get some ointment i don't know <laughs> <laughs> anyway <laughs> you know i don't put much credence in Raylan because she isn't one of the funny trolls yeah so, um i can't help but laugh i can't help but laugh. So i'm sitting there laughing my ass off coming back to her and they tell me out i'm like i was just getting fun and then i saw B Deck in there and uh -huh. he addressed me and said that I was born trash, I'll die trash. And I wanted oh, to no. sing, wait, I said, thank you, God, for all my blessings, big and small. And uh, this is how I look at classist. It reminds me of Aladdin. And Aladdin uh, was talking with Jafar. And Jafar said, you're nothing more than a street rat. You'll die a street rat, and not even your fleas will mourn you. And Aladdin says back, I'm no street rat. I don't buy that. There's so much more inside of me. Mm. But I didn't get to say all that. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> and, uh, I didn't have the costume or anything. So. <laughs> <laughs> they just don't get to me anymore, you know? Well, that's good. That's good. Oh, me. So. I, I don't let it get to me I think anymore it was probably either. The weed, thanks to Debbie. <laughs> <laughs> that probably did help a little bit. Absolutely. <laughs> Oh, me. Hey, Kimberly, good to see you. I haven't seen you in a while. So good to see you. Beautiful. I see all these beautiful faces pop in. You know, y'all hear Ernie say that, and I see what he means, because you are all such beautiful people, even little Dave. Kimberly is very man. beautiful. Hey, Debbie, we were just praising you. <laughs> 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 
Debbie is all right. Mm-hmm. Well, that's all right, mama. That's all right with me. I love it. Love it. Love it. Just realized I'm a minute behind. That's okay. <laughs> yes. Thanks for the gummies, Debbie. <laughs> Throw gummies in chat. <laughs> <laughs> So that was very up, nice of you, you Debbie. You to snow? No, just it's just really, really super cold. No snow yet. I'm thinking if we do get more snow, it'll be tomorrow. Because I think our high tomorrow is only going to be 36 or something like that. Oh, my gosh. But, the high. But with the, yeah, but with the wind, it's probably going to be like in the 20s or something. So there's probably a good chance that it'll snow tomorrow. I'm still jealous. I mean, I'm glad that it's it's pretty and nice here, but I would have liked to have seen some snow. We haven't gotten it in a long time. Brandy says, peppermint smells so good. Bet that makes your cushion. <laughs> oh, jeez. You're very funny, Brandy. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> You're gonna make me mm-hmm. want to try it with the soap. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know what it's gonna feel like. Now. Let me see if I find I can find an extra bar laying around that didn't get shipped. Oh yeah, <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> Oh my gosh, we just had two voices of Gypsy. <laughs> Did you like that? <laughs> you you do great impressions. You really do. I love them. <laughs> Appreciate that. Uh, it helps when um, you're a mom. You know what I mean? Oh, all I bet moms. it would. Don't all moms do it? Well, I, oh, I don't think I could do it like you. You know what I mean? You, you you just have a that. really good voice for that. Thank you. I'm embarrassed. <laughs> oh no, don't be. No. I think it's awesome. Heard you say his name, Dave. He jumped up. Oh, that's cute. Aw. Somebody posted a, a video of a um crazy chicken lady has a bearded dragon. And it was right yeah. after her bearded dragon video that this giant one jumps up on the counter and almost gets his own toast. It was really? crazy. Hey, Ruby, good to see you. <laughs> I've got a plumber here, so it's back up. Oh, no, the tree roots. Oh, I know all about that. That is a pain in the ass. You, I do mom voices, do you? <laughs> you like to talk to your animals. I do too. We do too. We call um what was her name supposed to be? Millie. Millie. And we call Millie Little. And I said, well, what are we gonna call all the babies? Little, littlest, littler, <laughs> little <Shun, laughs> little ed. Ist Ing Shun Ed. What else is there? Mm. let's see so when we were out this morning uh i had i got fell behind now it rained all weekend and how these women were able to get out there and put these flowers out already in the yard mode i'm like when did y'all do that hadn't the ground been wet (laughs) but uh it's like wow i'm seeing all these you know um flower pots you know full of new flowers and lights in the yard and stuff i'm like dang how did they do all that i I didn't really feel like it it was dry enough to cut the grass i always thought yeah nobody's mowing around isn't it dangerous to cut your grass when it's like wet i would think so and plus depending on what you're mowing with it all that grass would clump up you know what i mean and get underneath and I don't know. It would cause some kind of damage to the blades. I would, I would imagine. So. Uh, uh, rust, uh, even, right? Yeah. yeah. Nobody's mowing around here. <laughs> 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 I 
That doesn't happen usually till about April, mid-April, people start mowing. So Cleveland, there's the ball field, and what else is there? What else is Cleveland known for? Oh, jeez. Lots of stuff, huh? Lots of stuff, like so really? much. They have ice rinks. They have... <gasps> wow, right uh, right. outdoor or indoor? Outdoor. Oh, wow. And then they have the Cleveland Flats, which is like an area of nothing but nightclubs. They have like the zoo. Um, they have like this real famous Italian uh, place. I mean, you could get anything Italian there. Um, restaurants out the kazoo. Um, so my I mean, parachute pants we get lots of wear there this sounds good this sounds good keep talking <laughs> but there's this there's a lot up in cleveland okay. um we got like we got the columbus zoo we got the akron zoo we got the cleveland zoo considering that i posted a video <laughs> of eye of the tiger with a leopard i may need to visit these yeah, they, have... <laughs> they probably do. City girl here doesn't know her stripes from spots. I don't know what <laughs> animals good. I guess I don't know. Yeah, we have. I live like Cleveland's about an hour, maybe a little over an hour from me. So there's no uh, shopping can't... there, huh? Yeah, and then Canton. Is where the football hall of fame is. Oh wow! I'm about 20 minutes from there. Lots of history <laughs> it, then, huh? Oh yeah, lots of history then in Canton and all that. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. This sounds interesting. What is? Yeah. Um. Thank you very much, Debbie. I appreciate you so much. I'll give you a great big kiss. <laughs> Where was uh, Cheers? Cheers was in Boston. Boston. Yeah. But there's a famous bar like that in Cleveland, isn't there? That the guy with the black bone rim glasses was tied to. He may not be anymore, isn't it? Or am I getting him confused? Um, Drew Carey. Mm -hmm. Is he Drew Carey? Yes. Yeah. 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 Drew's from Google Cleveland. That. Uh so Machine Gun Kelly from there? Cleveland. What's that? Does he have um any sort of like uh you know business there, you know, you know what I'm trying to say? A store yeah, um, with items of that's got him portrayed in it. Uh, Gift shop, I guess is what they call it. I thought he had like a, a bar slash restaurant okay um, but that's as far as i know um you know who guy fury is yeah he's from columbus ohio oh, okay. and he's got a restaurant in columbus um you know a lot of people I didn't realize came from Ohio. I'm like, wow. That's a lot. It is a lot. It is a lot. And um, um, now when I, it was part of my territory, and I went to Youngstown, and mm -hmm. I, flew, I went there a couple of times, um, and I flew in to Cleveland and drove to Youngstown, and I stayed at the Holiday Inn there. Yeah, in Youngstown. Youngstown ain't very good. Like crim, like, like that's probably one of the most dangerous towns or cities in Ohio. Wow, is Youngstown? Yeah, and that's restaurants on the Carnival Cruise. Who Guy Fieri on the Carnival? Oh, awesome. Uh, yeah. Babes in Toyland, Cincinnati. Some good memories watching that movie with family. Awesome. Mm -hmm. I thought you said T 
tears at first made me think tears in my beer song. <laughs> oh, jeez. It's so sad. He's not going to deal with adulting well with that attitude. Well, I just plumbing issues. Okay, I think they're all just talking to each other. Okay, oh. so um. <laughs> Okay, so let me let me try to remember when I went there. I remember um, one time I went there and uh, I was you know trying to meet with leads to close deals. And first time you go, you kind of go and do your dog and pony show where you you do your uh, presentation and you go over contracts with them and what you expect as far as mm -hmm. uh, money goes. You ask for the check. And then the next time you're um, securing the deal and then um, <clears throat> pretty much flying back out. And when it mm -hmm. came to the flying back out part, it got all screwed up. Because Is I that where to, you broke your ankle? I rebroke it. Uh, the second time oh. I went, it, was already, it had already broken when I was shopping and I had worn a pair of them flip-flop candies. They had made uh -huh. a comeback in the 90s for about a minute, and I turned yeah. my ankle up underneath me, uh, getting down oh. off the curb with my buggy, and uh -huh. snapped my damn foot. And I was driving a stick shift with my, my, my kids, and they were way too little to drive for me. So I was right. having to engage my clutch with a broken foot. Oh and it was, it was the, <laughs> one of the most painful things, other than cutting my toe off. It was pretty excruciatingly painful. And so it was Imagine. where it broke that made it just such a pain trying uh -huh. to, you know, walk and that sort of thing. But, um, yeah, that's that's where I rebroke it, trying trying to. But what had happened, what had happened, which it can happen anywhere, it had, had no, no uh, reference to Ohio at all. It just happened to be there. I had uh -huh. taken a... Um, rental car to a shuttle uh, or the rental car shuttle was taking me to the airport and it was late and so I was late getting to my flight because of the shuttle and that pissed me off I was like oh my god because they had a rule where you could not drive your own car you had to get a rental car and sometimes oh. if it was close to North Carolina it was you know right after 9-11 and so uh -huh. I was having to, like, wait in airports. They wanted you to get there, like, five hours before your flight. And I uh -huh. could get to Ohio in five hours from North Carolina, Cana. So it was just one of those <laughs> moments where it was like, and I had to get home to my kids. I was a single mom. I wasn't married at the time. Oh. And so, and when I didn't make, make my flight, it screwed all kinds of things up. It got my ex-husband mad and and fighting with me and it just it just was awful it wasn't um, just oh i missed my flight it wasn't like that it, it just started a whole yeah chain of events fuck yeah yeah fuck yeah and where i drove a stick shift i had to, i didn't have to but my boss was so kind enough to offer to trade cars with me so that i could get around and um not be down you know because i had a stick shift and i couldn't drive so he let uh -huh. me trade with his wife and um it was just to put everybody out <laughs> you know what i mean it just was uh -huh. like putting everybody out well so it's it, not something you did intentionally you know so um that's it could have happened anywhere i mean i i still love florida and I've had mm -hmm. some of the worst trips of my life in Florida. Like, oh, really? Went, oh, my gosh. Way worse than, than Cleveland. Way worse. Um, let, me, let, let me just put it this way. Um, one of the worst trips I went on um, doesn't even measure up halfway to one I sent my boss on. I was oh. a new secretary. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was the new secretary and I'm kind of an airhead. All right. I admit I'm kind of a fucking airhead. 
<laughs> and uh, they're like, have you ever uh, booked an international trip? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but I wasn't going to tell them that, right? <laughs> I'm trying right. to prove myself. Just been put in this job, right? And yeah. all the senior, I've already told this story once before, but all the senior execs are going to this trip to, uh, I want to say it was Brazil. And oh. um, they're all staying at the Sheridan, a la Brazil. And I've got my boss at the, uh, it was like the El Health. Hello, hotel cabana shit and he calls me up and he's like it was one over one which meant i had to book his trip and he booked uh -huh. mine you couldn't book your own at, at, during that time period at, at the company and okay. he booked me when i was on my trip i had this and i had that he's like sir how are your accommodations? And I was like, oh, they're great. I've got a guy opening my door for me. I've got this. I've got that. I says, how's yours? He's like, well, we need to talk about that. I was like, what? Uh -oh. What's wrong? Uh -oh. Let me put it this way. It involved him having to get on the back of a pickup truck, crazy chicken lady with chickens in Brazil. <laughs> Oh trying to make it back into the main town because the hotel was nowhere near where they were meeting and he says here's an indicator for you honey he's like when it says that the uh uh amenities are wall-to-wall -wall carpet and running water that should have told you something <laughs> And I looked at the itinerary and I was like, so this was no good, huh? And he's like, no, we're going to have a long talk and we're going to train you on how to book trips. And I mean, all, all of my experience came on the job. And I just yeah. was so blessed to work with very patient people. But Aww. yeah, there he was in Brazil and they gave him, they, they roasted him for the longest time over that. I would be sitting in my cubicle and they were like, so how was that hotel over there? You know, just giving him a, he would turn so red and I would be so embarrassed. <laughs> so, um, yeah. You live yeah. and learn. live <laughs> and learn, right. <laughs> I just was like, I'm going to so get fired. I'm going to so get fired. Right. It. it was hilarious though. And, and. Uh, that's just I'll have I'll have to t I've got so many stories like that to tell you it's I had to have a channel you know what I mean I got a lot of stories awesome. like that just things like that and people that you meet people are entertaining people are totally entertaining you know are you a people watcher I am I love watching people I do too I do too <laughs> Like going to the mall and just sitting at the court eating and just like looking at everybody and yes, giggling and you know, wonder what their story is. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I mean, growing up in the 80s, you probably grew up in the 90s, right? You're probably what a decade younger than me, if not more. Um, well, I was I was little do, in the eighties. I was little in the eighties. But that was and... the thing to go do, wasn't it? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, I grew well... up in the city and it wasn't like back in the eighties, the city was a lot safer than yeah. what it is now. Like you yeah. couldn't you could pay me to live back in in the city with the crime and everything. Yeah. Um, but back then, you know, my mom would send me to the store that was down the road with the note to buy her a pack of cigarettes. <laughs> oh you know? my gosh. Yes. Yes, I remember the note. Oh my gosh. I, you know, w me and my sister that comes in chat occasionally we would go all the way across town and uh, on the bus to the library or to go play tennis up at the country club alone. And it was no big deal to walk up there and play tennis. And they were like, where's your parents? It was just, hey, you know, when do you want the court? You know, and that was it. <laughs> you know? 
But yeah, no, it is different. It is different. I think it's, it's because there's different. more people here. I, I think oh, that, there's so many people here. Yeah. Especially now. Mm -hmm. With all the immigrants that have come into our country in the last four years, it's. Yeah. You know. Yeah. yeah and I think that. um. Yeah, I, I joke about those after school specials, but those taught civilization. They taught you how to be in civilized society. And they've taken that out out yep. of circulation. They've taken it out of school. They've taken it off, you know, the, the mainstream television analog. You know, it doesn't even exist anymore, I don't think. So I don't think easy so. easy access like we used to get to things like that. Um are gone you know we got it at church we got it at school and then we got it after school with pbs yeah yep I, that's how saturday Lottie, Lottie, get your adverbs here that was saturday morning <laughs> cartoons talk saturday about. morning cartoons yep i mean i never thought of america as being a white America because of the melting pot video yeah. where they were all jumping into that uh and they were all different colored uh cartoon characters and I was like well I'm brown and I got black hair because I'm five percent Senegal African and uh -huh. um yeah my mother is Irish uh Scottish and my dad is the dark so when my mom would take me you know to the grocery store and things, they thought that I was adopted <laughs> or I wasn't hers or I was mixed. They called me high yellow and charcoal and things like that in school. And I bet uh, your mama licks your lips and sticks you to the wall to babysit. Oh, geez. you remember that joke? Yes. <laughs> Gosh, I've so heard sick. that forever. <laughs> yes. Gee. <laughs> Yeah, I used to have real big, thick lips. Now they're all thin. They're not thick. But I would love to have my thick lips again now. <laughs> uh, now I barely even can find them unless I got draw them on. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, so. My grandma used to call me a Heinz 57. When I was little, you look Scottish it, Irish. You like you're like my mom. Well, I am. I am. My my great grandpa it was an immigrant from Scotland, and my great grandma on my mom's side was an immigrant from Ireland. I can and, see that. And I I took after my grandfather, um, who was mainly Scottish with the big nose my grandma and my aunt and like their side of the family all have the red hair and the little tiny noses <laughs> and yeah. i took after my grandfather with the big nose yeah i used to be married to um a manhattan jew he um his um family survived the holocaust uh, on one side of his family and the other side of his family came on a boat from russia oh and, okay. um yeah and so um that married name um um when i would be introduced to people they thought uh -huh. that i was a hispanic jew and I had this one guy say to me, I don't think I have ever met a Hispanic Jew before. And I was like, well, one, I'm not Hispanic. <laughs> Two, I'm not Jewish. <laughs> so you still haven't met one. And then, yeah. like, well, why do you always take MLK Day off? You always have MLK holiday off. Are you mixed? And at the time, I didn't know that I did have 5% um, uh, African in me. At the time, I didn't know. And I said, uh no, I take it off because it's the a bank holiday, and that was when my sibling could get time off for us to spend. So uh -huh. for the longest time, they thought that I was uh, taking MLK off. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> y'all are so stupid. No, that's not why I'm uh -huh. taking it off. It's because the bank's closed. Anyway. <laughs> 
you've got white gray hair. Yeah, I love it. I think it's gorgeous. It reminds me of, um, here, I'm going to show you. From uh, Knott's Landing, this is who you remind me of. When I saw her picture, I was like, oh my gosh, she's valuing from Knott's Landing. Steve B A L. Okay. Uh, add an overlay. This is what Crazy Chicken Lady looks like. Is it okay if I dox you? That's what Crazy Chicken Lady looks like. Yeah, a little bit. I could see that. She reminds me of her so much. Mm hmm. I With like the hair. Swim in my pool. Yes. He'll call me back. He's probably working at his real job. Cookie, you got a pool. I bought one of those cow water things for a pool. 15, 16 years old at the mall, just watching people. That, and three, four, five hours went by fast, didn't it? Thank you. Just sitting yeah. and watching people. It was like no time. They would drop us off and uh, then we would we would shop, you know, spend our allowance money or, or babysitting money. And then mm -hmm. we would eat. And then we would walk over to the movie theater and watch a movie. And then it was time for them to come pick us up. And it was time to go to bed. So I love yeah. Saturdays here, man. I loved it. Yeah. My maiden okay. name, maiden name, um, I don't care to dox myself. I've been doxed. My maiden name is Phillips. Mm -hmm. And that was on my mother's side. Mm -hmm. Oh, my grandma was a griffin. And uh, do you know who Merv Griffin is? Yes, I do. I was related to him. Oh, fantastic. Let's give you a hand. Clap. It was my grandmother's brother's son. <laughs> Merv Griffin. Was yep, your and that's how my grandmother's son. It was my, my grandmother's brother's son. So that's your great cousin, second cousin. Yeah. Your second yeah, cousin because is Mark Griffin. That mm -hmm. is awesome. That is fantastic. Wow. I like names like that, Merv. My, uh, um, one of my kids uh, sent me a, a picture of, um, well, then I would dox him. I can't tell you that. Never mind. <laughs> Okay, Tara, good to see you. Um, that's your short there. Okay. Has it got you in it? She just reminds me of Val. Val was real loving and, and worried over people, too. Mm -hmm. Like baby chicken lady. Crazy chicken lady punches air with me. <laughs> <laughs> right. So what do you got uh, going on today? Oh, nothing. Nothing out of the normal. Just same old, same old day, you know. Take my daughter to work here soon. And my son will come home and he'll get ready and he'll go to work. And... I'll try to get something done around this house. Uh, it's like really super cold outside, so I don't plan on going anywhere that I don't have to. And what are you going to make today? Are you going to make some soup or something? Well, I had Salisbury steak last night, Ooh. and I have leftovers, so I'll probably just heat oh, up man. some of that. Okay, Austin yeah. Rosa says, I'm related to Ryan Phillips, the actor that was married to Reese Witherspoon. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. 
Debbie says, I'm related to Rutherford B. Hayes. I used to brag when I was young being related to a president until I found out what a piece of shit he was. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow. I don't know him. The president. Uh-uh. You never went to the mall till later in life. You didn't go as a teenager? What? CCL, I'm fighting it. I've got a business meeting at 3, so I'm trying to pull it together. Oh, bless your heart. Well, hang in there. Gypsy in chat, just coming in for a minute to listen. Glad you're here. Thank you for coming. I have to go to the market and... and just good feelings to try to find corned beef. Mm, I don't think I've ever had that. Is it good? It's Today, good. That was like today's people of Walmart. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, pretty yeah, much. Exactly. Is is that content for y'all? If I go to the mall and just hang out for a couple of hours, would that be content? And we can make fun of people, or is that wrong? Is that wrong? <laughs> I don't know. Should I not do that? <laughs> Would that be wrong? Should I go to another town where I don't know the people? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> and we can just sort of come up with questions, you know? Or maybe I can yeah. look for a particular type person. Like the first man in a red hat. Follow him and see what he does. And we can make a game out of it. I can find the cutest guy there. See if he's single and wants to come on my show. <laughs> Would you like to meet someone? No. I'm going to have all kinds of liability if it went wrong, right? Probably. I don't know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can make a game out of it. Okay. Or, you know, like... How many people with uh, jeans that, you know, don't go up to their butt or <laughs> how many, how many bag ladies with their carts or, you know, like socks and sandals, socks and sandals. <laughs> right. <laughs> mm -hmm. You ever get she to the said, mall where? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> the corned beef and cabbage and potatoes and carrots and an onion and you boil it. The corn That's beef a good Irish meal. Longest. Is it? Yeah, it's an mm -hmm. Irish meal. Okay, I'll try that. So, I love trying different stuff. Corned beef is a is um an acquired taste. Not everybody likes it. Um, okay. But I like it. I mean, it's pretty good. I'm not much on cabbage, unfortunately, but. <clears throat> oh, I haven't seen that name in forever. Who, Chaos and Roses? Yeah. I wonder if she's up to. I've seen her a few times. I saw that crazy chicken lady that you wear a lot of tie-dye dresses. I love that. I love tie-dye. Tie-dye anything is awesome. I like comfort. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> tie-dye yeah. anything is awesome. And I wear a lot of dresses in the summer. I don't like to have Me anything too. around my waist. Yeah, and it seems to be cooler. Like, you know, especially if you don't wear underwear. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, honey. Ooh. You just brought me Chick fil A. Thank you very much. I wear the dye dresses Ooh. too. Yeah. Beach wear. I like beach wear. Mm -hmm. If I could hit the Florida Keys. And just, um, you know, something tie-dye and a good pair of sandals. I wouldn't want much else in life, you know? I would probably not right. want to come back. You order a lot probably from not. Venus. Okay. 
The Pope sees all your dirty ways. I think the Pope oh, is a cultist. Makes... Yeah. He runs a cult. Do you know that? <laughs> <clears throat> if you're the Pope, how does the Pope see me? Uh, get it right. <laughs> well, I wear underpants, not always a bra anymore. I hate a damn bra. I hate underwear. I hate underwear. I hate it. Anything hate around it, my it. waist, I don't like it anymore. I understand. Do you wear granny panties, Dita? I don't wear any reinforced crotch. <laughs> 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 oh my god <laughs> I feel you I understand <laughs> I've had children before too crazy chicken lady it's okay are you jealous you were kicked from my cult yes no <laughs> <laughs> I'm southern baptist pope get out of here my mom would run you out get get only some get this belong here. <laughs> we don't do those Hail Marys and whatever <laughs> else they do. We're going to convert you. <laughs> <laughs> but give us some of your wine while you're here. <laughs> Hook us oh. up, Pope. And can we take a ride in your in your neat little car? <laughs> Mobile. Holy shit, where is this conversation going? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. No, that's um that's that uh what is that religion called? Oh um there hold on a minute. I don't know, that but I know what they're talking holiness. about. Isn't it Pentecostal holiness that does that? I'm Southern Pentecostal Pop, right. that? I'm pretty sure, don't yeah. they? Maybe not. I don't know then. Evangelist? Is it evangelist that do the snakes, honey? Or is it the um it is Pentecostal holiness. Some that's the old one, so I do too yeah, that's, right now. Amen that to either. that. Yeah, I want to ride around the boat mobile. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Come on. Beep, beep. I'm gonna go through a drive through in it. <laughs> yeah, Pentecostal I'm Pentecostal to holiness, too. What is the dress? Your oh, Pentecostal it. holiness was that? Was that talk no. to text? I feel like that was talk to text. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I'm not any religion. I just believe in Jesus Christ and the Lord. Yeah. Spirit, right. I don't have a religion. Yeah, we don't want no people coming in here pulling a pita on us. <sighs> no panties, no pope. Damn it. <laughs> we might be weird, but we don't close <laughs> So you're Catholic? That's right. <laughs> okay, so we've we've managed to offend everyone in chat. <laughs> It's really Oops. not about religion, but a personal. Yeah, I believe it. I totally believe that. Not religion. The Even Jesus frowned on smoke out that chimney soon. Mm. <laughs> oh my gosh. Harvey Blevins. Hey, good to see you. I've seen Pentecostal snake handling. Have you really? Was it scary? Your first girlfriend was Pentecostal. Her dad made her break up with me in eighth grade. Wow. If you want to watch something about a missing girl who was never found, watch on Netflix, The Vatican Girl. Is it going to make me not like the Pope more? I lived in a cult until age seven. Then family decided to leave. Oh, well, that deserves a hand clap to your family for being strong enough to get you out of there and out of there safe. Yeah. Kimberly's such an amazing woman. She is awesome. 
It's going to make me not like the Pope more, really. Yeah, I just, I don't know about that whole thing. I just feel like it's worshiping a, a, another, and we're not supposed to do that. I, you know. Right. Hey, Mac B, we're about to end. Mac B. Hey, Tag everyone, but I see you all. Hey, Kells. They dance. Not the same Kells that this was titled over, by the way, for the record. They dance with snakes and drink the Kool-Aid. <laughs> nope, Pope. Dope. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy day here. So in for us. So none of you gals have tried that spoiled child drink online. Please and thank you. Huh? Tried that spoiled child drink. What's that? Please tell us. What's the spoiled child? child drink is it naughty are we gonna to want to try it <laughs> you got this curious do tell The cult was all of my family on my dad's side. We held on to the values. Do you follow sister wives, Frankie? One of their children just passed recently. I'm going to take a bite of my sandwich. Thank you, honey. That was very nice of him. Mm -hmm. I stood back in the church while it happened. It was scary. One of my high school friends. Dad died from a... Ooh. Wow. What kind of snakes would they handle? I mean, mm -hmm. are they all poisonous or something? Tell us what you know about it, Harvey. <laughs> Hello, Southern okay. Baptist. Thank you for joining us today. <laughs> it's going to make me choke on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds uh, extremist. Very extreme. Is it rattle? That's what they're saying. I am too, Sally. Because I really like Janelle. I, I, I broke my heart for her. Yeah, we all want a chicken sandwich now. <laughs> <laughs> New around here, just checking things out. Well, do you want to fill out? A, um, <laughs> did y'all ever have to fill out those welcome cards when you went to a new church and then the whole church turns around? And shakes your hand. Yeah. I've been to those before. I wasn't expecting it, right? Yeah. Oh, wow. They should, like, tell you that this, you might get ambushed. <laughs> you never watch Sister Wives? Really? Uh, Janelle was. And she about supported them all, too, didn't she? She was the most financially savvy out of all of them. Oh my god, is it cold? Mm. Look at it's this. White. 
bottle called spoiled milk. I want to, so it's 50 bucks. Hmm. Never heard of it. Uh uh. I, I agree, went Sally. I can't believe that they didn't, the parents didn't. When is enough enough? I would have pulled the plug on that. Do you apply it to the skin or drink it? Janelle's son passed. The, um, he was the um, most outspoken on social media when he had joined the Coast Guard. That one. Uh, yeah. You're chilly too. Oh, it's freezing here. Oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't think so. Thank you, Debbie, for as much child support. Mm. It just seems like they would, um, you know, know when to stop and take it off and just, you know, call it a day. I mean, it's not even sister wives anymore. Right. It probably is. Yeah, that's what I figured. Are you serious? They called her a hussy. <laughs> 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 and they what they called women back in the day, a hussy. Yep. And warmer days are coming. I sure hope so. I'll rub it in in the 70s. Okay. Well, it feels like it's maybe in the 20s here. Oh, It's in the 20s there right now? With the windshield, yeah. Wow, gosh. <sighs> I was bleep. I would sleep so good. Yeah, I wish I could. 76 here too. Oh my goodness, you guys are so lucky. It's supposed to start going back up starting Monday. Yeah, that's a very expensive drink. Yeah, there ain't no way I spent $50 on a drink. Hell no. Harlot. It better, it better take all the wrinkles and segs away. Instantly. You still call people a hussy? <laughs> <laughs> well, she's just a hussy. Do you see all that gaudy makeup she got on? <laughs> gaudy is another word. Oh, yeah. Just gaudy. Harlot, yeah. I remember my mom being on the phone and with her lady friends talking about people being gaudy. She, she's just a hussy. <laughs> <laughs> my mom might have been a gossip. Hey, mom of two of us. Good to see you. Awesome. His brother was just like, oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, That's I'm so sorry. Prayers for you, honey. His day. Oh, oh man. That's nothing, y'all. I pay 60 for damn drinks called what? New new bio bio me? New bio me? Mm. I don't know what she's trying to tell me. Hey Mike Owens, good to see you. Everything works with beauty and youthful glow till you hit 
mine ain't so i'm i'm gonna start going to the tanning bed and try to dry up these warts on my face <laughs> oh i feel like i got the human papillama virus all over my face the um <laughs> what's his name on abc news honey what is it i call that virus what's his name <clears throat> he does the news george Papal <laughs> yeah i hope i don't have that uh <laughs> i can't say it <laughs> without <laughs> laughing <laughs> i can't do it I'll have to okay. do it one day when I'm not already getting one. <laughs> <laughs> the George Stephanopoulos. <laughs> if I don't catch any of that. <laughs> really, it's right all over my face. Warts. My sister thought he was so good looking, too. Hey, Liberator. Good to see you. Good to see you. How y'all doing today? Be careful in the tent. Well, I'm hoping that it'll give me some vitamin. Uh, is it B or D or both? Yeah. Thank you, honey. Mm -hmm. Um. Thank you. I appreciate that. Everybody, welcome, Mike. Hi, hey, Mike. Um, I'm hoping that it will help my seasonal depression that I get and, um, um, restore my, vit is it vitamin B or D? Is it D? D is the sun? It's vitamin D is, vitamin D okay. is the is sun. Is it David? Yeah. She said D. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping to, uh, only get vitamin D from real sunlight. Oh, really? You could get those UV lights um, yeah. that help with seasonal depression. They're like a lamp. Put them all through the house and don't tell anybody and have everybody tan. <laughs> <laughs> One day you notice, like, wait Why a minute. It's <laughs> so dark. So <laughs> Why are you caramel today? Yeah. I woke up this morning at nine and I grabbed myself a beer out of the fridge. I started early. This sounds like the beginning to a song. I woke up yeah. this morning at nine. I grabbed myself a beer out of the fridge. <laughs> Gypsy, that's awful for your skin, is it? But my skin's looking kind of like I got the George Stephanopoulos all over it. I gotta go, Gypsy. Okay, good. Thank you very much again, Debbie. We really appreciate you and your support. My doctor says just 10, 15 minutes in the sun a day. Really? That's all? I'm at work. Mom should be able to call me around 2. I hope I haven't got to talk to her yet today. Oh, we're praying for you. Get you a mask like I have. It has seven different light colors for your skin. Mm. It's okay to take vitamin D supplements. Well, they've given me a shot and they've given me a pill to take. And I just thought, why not do it? You know, I don't know. I don't guess the tanning bed is the natural way, though, is it? It does sort of, sm oh, it's Jim Morrison. Thank you very much, AK-47. Hmm. One of the sexiest <laughs> men ever to walk the planet. Breaking Who's that? through to the other side. Jim Morrison. Jim Morrison. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not when he was fat and old. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, when he first started out with those um, black leather pants and no shirt, I thought he was hot. Uh -huh. Val Kilmer, I thought, played him perfect. Oh, yeah. 
I think my all-time crush growing up um, was Johnny Depp. This like, was Johnny Depp. Yeah. And now he's now he's not so great to look at, but man, back when he was younger, woo wee. I had a crush on. I can't think of his name. Uh, um. Poncho. Please stop. But also, um, this guy. I can't remember his damn name. Hold on a minute. He was in Revenge okay. of the Nerds, and he was the preppy guy. Oh, I don't know his name, but I know who you're talking about. He wound up being all married with children at the end. In the end. Uh huh. Yep. He was the preppy oh. guy. Ted McGinley. I had a major okay. crush on him in the 80s. When I was like 16. In the 80s. In the yeah. 80s, Michael J. Fox was my crush. Yeah, I thought he was, was so totally cute. what I looked for when I was dating guys at the mall. If we were like walking around the mall. Um, mm -hmm. What did I say his name was? Uh, Ted something. Ted, yeah. Ted, something I can't remember. Let's see if I can pull it up here. I went for the preppy look. Um, shit, I didn't pull it up. Did it not save it? I can't just pull it up. Share the screen then. Yeah, Ted McCann. Images. McKinley. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what he looked like in the 80s. <laughs> I say image as not link. I want the image. Ted. Oh, you're kidding me. You jerk. Hold on one second. I got too much on my stupid stream yard to, to upload the freaking picture. Here it goes. Oh, maybe you could delete. put it on your community I post. So I got it right here. Here it is. That's who I had okay. a crush on. Do y'all remember him? Oh, I remember him. Mm-hmm. Notice I chose the one that he doesn't have a shirt on. Don't tell me about it. <laughs> 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 Your secrets safe with me. It's just us. <laughs> <laughs> Yours was Sam Elliott. Yeah, that's a good one too. Oh Andrew man, McCarthy. you can't go wrong with oh. Sam Elliott. Yeah, Andrew McCarthy He's is good. Mm -hmm. Johnny Wahlberg, that's good too. Oh, and not so much. The lar uh, what was his name? Leonardo DiCaprio with that baby face with those blue eyes. Uh. You saw the Grateful Dead six times. That's fantastic. That's fantastic. Mom, <coughs> you oh, I'm sorry. Yes, yeah, they Elliot. have those. Oh yeah, Sam Elliott. Still, he that man's probably. Pushing his 80s and he still looks good. Mm -hmm. And I liked, um, let's see if y'all remember this guy. I know you have. It was called, um, yes, yes. The one with the wine after Dallas. Thank you. See how close he is to me at all times? Why would mm -hmm. they think I would be doing anything behind his back when he's with me all the time? <laughs> I don't know. Let's see. Here he is. Yeah. Copy image. Okay. Let me 
use this. No. Here's another one that I had a crush on big time in the 80s. You can do it, StreamYard. You can add one. Ah, you suck ass. <laughs> <laughs> Try it again. <coughs> I can find a way better looking picture than him, but I'm in a hurry, so to show you. Yeah. Here we go. What was his name? What was his name? The dude on Falcon Crest. Mm -mm. The good looking one. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go to the cast. Never mind, dear. Cast. Where's cast? Where's the cast? We're casting. He's pretty famous. Why is this getting hard for me to? And crest cats. Lorenzo Lamaz. Lorenzo Lamaz. He's married to Lisa Renna, I think. No, that's Harry Hamlin. Who was Lorenzo Lamaz married to? I don't know. That name sounds very familiar, though. Yeah. Huh. Who was he married to? It's somebody famous. About family and relationship. Oh wow, his dad was handsome, no wonder. <laughs> I don't know what he does now, but back then he was on soap operas. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like Blackie on General Hospital. Mm hmm Who did y'all like on a soap opera when you were a teenager? Who did y'all think was hot? <laughs> Uh, well, the same guy I still think is hot today. His name is Jensen Ackles, and um, I can't remember the name of his character. He played in I want to say Days of My Life, Days of Our Lives. Oh my God, he's so dreamy. Say it again. His name is John Jensen. Stamos? Yeah, John Stamos is still fucking hot. Okay. He's Greek. Yeah, he's Greek. It wasn't, it wasn't him? Who are you talking about? Jensen Ackles is his name. His real name. Yeah. I can't remember who he played, but he was on one of those soaps I Jensen. watched growing up. Ackles. Ackles. I see it. A. A C K L E. Oh, yeah, hell yeah, I know him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. <coughs> he was he was in soap operas. He um, I think he did modeling. Um, I think he was in, oh he was in Bloody Valentine, mm -hmm. and then he started um. A show on CW called Supernatural, mm, and he okay. did fifteen seasons of that. And now he's doing um, like a Marvel type mm -hmm. show. I want to say it's on one of those streaming apps now. He's he's my age. Well, he's I think he's like a year older than me now. He's so good looking. Show everybody else a picture of him here. If I can get the damn thing to load. 
Escape gallery. Where is it going when I save it? It's going to like Never Never Land. <laughs> I save it, then I can't find it again. It's weird. I don't know. Is it the down one? Oh, shoot. Oh, there it is. Okay, it's in download. It's in downloads. Okay. Downloads. Yeah, where the hell are my pictures disappearing to? Honey? What? I'm uploading pictures and then when I go to upload them, they're not there. What, what am I doing wrong? Where are you loading them to? Right, just like regular. Right. We do this. Yeah, help me find the pictures I've just uploaded. I hate it when it's there. They are. I see it now. Why wasn't it coming Is that up? Them? Yeah, that's them. It's your download folder. Okay, I went there. Okay. Oh. It's not letting me upload it though. See, it's not there now. See what I mean? Oh well, sorry. I tried oh, to upload it. Okay. I don't know what, why it's not doing it. Stupid thing. Yeah. Being a butthead. <laughs> Peter Raquel, Bo Brady. Yeah. Yeah, you like the Wahlbergs? I do too. Dang, guys, I don't know anyone you're talking about. Am I too young to be here? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Does y'all mama know you on the internet? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. My mom mm -hmm. loved the soaps. I remember way back one called. Yeah, I remember loving. They're in uploads. There. Should I watch the one Timmy on there? Bo Brady. Everybody loved Bo Brady. See, don't we need some romance? I don't know. Yeah. It would be nice. It's depressing that it's not here, you know? Yeah, you, I you know. I think it would be an aspect of drama with th these drama writers and producers and directors would know. I shared a uh, hiring writers ad that fell into my news. Um, I'm her mom was doing laundry and I smoked my first cigarette. Who is days of our lives? <laughs> <laughs> Everybody knows who days of our lives is. Even right. the Pope knows who Days of Our Lives is. <laughs> Trust me. Oh. <laughs> I do too. I'm I'm stuck there and probably will always be stuck there. That's why I moved back to the same neighborhood I was in when I was in high school. And live those glory years just one more time before we croak. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna have to get off here, Gypsy. I gotta get ready and take my daughter to work. Um, okay, I'll call. I'll call it a uh, end of the show and uh, go finish my lunch. I appreciate you coming up and chatting with me. Oh, no problem. Y'all sub you know up I love to you. um. Y'all sub up to uh, Kim here, and um, we we'll, we go hang out over there at her channel too. When you are try you to have a good again? You too. Um, I don't know. I'll probably go live sometime this okay. towards this weekend. All right, well, have a good day. You too, sweetheart. All right, love you. Love you too, honey.
That was Kim's. It was her. I remember when in Germany, the only soap they played over there was Days of Our Lives. It was in German, but I listened. Yeah, y'all have a good afternoon. Love you guys. Thank you for coming. I didn't know you were way across the big, big pond in Germany, Frankie. That's cool. Bet it's beautiful there. I was looking at the river cruises in Germany. It's very safe there. You like the Supernatural show? Cool. Y'all have a great afternoon. Love you guys. Thank you for coming. I appreciate each and every one of you. How y'all doing tonight? Hope everybody's doing real good. Bye bye. Thanks now. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. anything for you. You're obviously in the wrong place. Please leave. Feeling like 